All right. I have a feeling we're going to blow past this one. No, I'm going to camp out. I'm going to camp out. Oh, Welcome sure. to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Uh, this is a gift from Shepard. Damn it! <laughs> uh, All right, so I have it. I don't. I don't know what it is. Like this is right here. It's like I'm still. I see a man with a guitar. Oh yeah, already. Hold on a second. Now this is what's very intriguing to me because yeah. as Daniel's lifting it up to the table, he goes, "Oh, we're gonna blow past this one." Now I'm very keen on just camping out. Yeah, yeah. Of course you are. You contrarian. <laughs> well, I mean, well, why though? Why did you want to blow past it? I don't know. What man. is this? So Rose City. This is uh, Rose City Distilling in Portland. We've had a lot of their stuff. They do a lot of like contract bottling of, of vanity products for things and the yeah. special releases for stuff. Okay. I don't know where they got this. I don't know if they made it or if they sourced it. Because I, I don't know the category even. Yeah. I just see like no given of the guy on the label with the guitar. <laughs> yeah. This is a rye. Right. Right. Okay. But this is Roger Fisher and the Human Tribe. Okay. Now, Roger Fisher you might recognize because he was a founding member of the band Heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, this thing's called Heart of the Blues. Oh, so that was the back I was looking at. Which was, an, I think, an album, if I remember correctly. 100% right whiskey. They wanted to do... Um, 100 proof. Yeah, they want Mike and Roger Fisher wanted to do a whiskey, like their own... Celebrity whiskey. Okay, so... And they worked with Rose City, and they tried a bunch of things, and this was the one that they wanted. So, did they source, or did they source and blend? The, well, I don't know. Okay. Rose City may have made it. They may have sourced it. Yeah. They may have blended barrels. I I don't know anything about how they did it, mm -hmm. because all of the write-up is just talking about the rich musical heritage of the blues and the whiskey okay. partnering with the vanity of the thing, and hmm. he's on the... Graphic, you know. Okay. So this is a hundred percent rye, hundred proof. All right. So I got so little on the nose. Yeah, I can't. I got a bingo, a little water here. Now he said he liked it because even though it was a hundred proof, it was a really soft and smooth whiskey. But right now, prioritizing the smooth. All right, that's what they're going for. That's the intention of this whiskey. All I'm smelling is a slightly sweetened yeah. wood Straight. note. Yes. I, like a, and, and not a normal sweetness, but like a Splenda. Okay. See, that really kind of faint nose is why I needed to bingo some water. Yeah, slightly sleep, sweet wood note. All right, so maybe they're going for soft. Let's see if they hit the soft. Oh, it's got character. Oh, it is soft at 50%, or a 50 ABV. 50 yeah, percent, it's 100 soft, yeah. but on the back of the tongue, there's a little bing, a little exclamation point. It's, you know, it's like a strawberry rice spice on the yeah. back for me. Strawberry. I could see strawberry. Tart, even. Yeah, yeah. But it is soft. It is. So, what they were aiming for... Nailed it. I think they hit. The nose is very not present for me. For a rye, it's not very herbal at all. Oh, you got one already. Well, sure. Or did you? I, it's fine. There we go. Um, I did like the taste. It's much more flavorful than what the nose sets you up for. The strawberry really ruined it for me because now that's all that's in my aftertaste yeah. is old, uh, an aftertaste of a tart, slightly underripe strawberry hmm. mixed with wood tannins. That's what I do. Oh, whoa, the Just nose woke up. Ruin it for everybody. Put some water in there and the nose sort of jumps out of the glass oh, a bit it does. more. Yeah. It did wake up the ethanol more than anything. It though. also woke up the tannins and that slight astringency. Now the wood notes are a little further into the taste. They just sort of carved a little more of a hole out of that strawberry honey. I gotta tell you, man. I it's was very drinkable. I was, yeah, I was prepared to be like, all right, this is bull celebrity wh celebrity whiskey, and they're aiming for smooth. Yeah, don't really have any expectations. The nose is not interesting. The taste, though, eh. damn, that's it's, let's that, just say approachable. I will say. Uh, Better than what I expected for sure. Mm -hmm. I see, like, uh, you know, this is going to be kind of. So, the celebrities doing the thing. Uh, more often than not, they don't hit the mark that, in, in a way that at least I enjoy. Mm -hmm. This, though, the taste hit it more squarely than I was anticipating. Hmm. But you were not prepared for that tart strawberry. Right. And you, right now, this is what happened. You just a little pull back the curtain here. What now? He shut down so we can. 
blow past it. But I'm just going to camp out. No, I, I'm trying to figure out if I want to try it again. This is my camping out day. I don't think I want to. This is my camping out. You can camp out with comments. <laughs> well, say, this is like 90 seconds. You this can camp out seconds. with comments. But just, just do it with me. It's camping out day. Just try it. It's all in the, to match the arm movements. And the hips, too. Well, you got to get your legs closer together. Uh-huh. And then you throw it around. Throw it in there. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. If you could, like, get some more love handle presence, <laughs> just uh, throw it out there more. No. Nah. It's kind of like middle-aged, out-of-touch dad doing a yeah. slow-motion yeah. hula, hula dance. Uh. <laughs> this is what I call my walking up the stairs dance. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they dance at a, was it, you know those speed walkers? Yeah, at the mall. I was about to say it's a mall walker. Yeah. It's just a slow motion wall walker. <laughs> mall walker, but with like jerky movements <laughs> instead of true smooth slow motion. Alpha May's question about inserting staves in a barrel. Yeah. One side is charred and toasted as, and has whatever liquid was being stored. What about the other three sides? You know, I don't know. So my understanding is that I've seen a bunch of versions. I've seen people who toast or char the whole stave, all sides. Mm-hmm. I've seen some who just take a charred stave and drop it in. Yeah. That's very, uh, but there's all these variations of it. The thing that looks the most interesting to me, there's a company that does just full-on oak spirals mm. and not even like you, know, you see the small ones mm. like you can buy the store in a barrels yeah these are like and huge yeah as big as your forearm just big enough to go into a bunghole yeah right and they will have spirals that will have been sitting in like different kinds of wines and so you could finish with a spiral right. the reason why you do a spiral is because there's a lot more surface area with the wood yeah um but those look interesting i so we got an experiment that's finally ready Okay. Uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago, two yeah. years ago, oh. Cash, my youngest, yeah. said, I want to do a whiskey aging experiment where we take a bunch of exotic woods uh, chunks yeah. and char them and put them into whiskey barrels to see how they infl- impact the whiskey. Yeah. So we so went all online. together? We went on, no, no, we went online yeah. and bought like seven different exotic woods, zebra wood, mahogany, something from Africa, okay. a cherry. Okay. Um, uh, all these different things, right? Are any of them poison? I don't know. We had to look it up. But <laughs> we, they sent them to us, and I yeah. contacted the wood company. There's wood sample blocks, yeah. right? And said, are these yard-aged? And they said, some of them may, but we can't. We're not sure. Right. So I told Cash, hey, let's yard-age these. So we stuck them in a box, and we've just left them on the property for almost two years now. Mm-hmm. So now they're dried wood samples. Hmm. Soon, what we, I want to do is get a bunch of five-gallon barrels, hmm. enough for each of those. Yeah. I want to put it in the new make Balcona's bourbon in them. Okay. And char all of them equally. Yeah. And fill one barrel with each piece of wood. So you yard aged for that long. Mm-hmm. Wow. Almost two years. Wow. That'll definitely be more than enough to get it yeah. ready. Um, going back to this one more time. Get a, like a little bit of a spicy ripe apple. Yeah, now. Yeah. In the nose with water added. Yeah. Here, let me turn it this way. Because it's more drinkable. Because that's, yeah, actually, it's, let me just turn it that way for you. Yeah. I think you're being influenced by, by the dude going like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you've been influenced. The Look, whis- they are legitimate rock stars. It's fine. That's fine. But I'm saying the whiskey, though. Yeah. This, if it was a different label, different company, different backstyle. You think I would yeah, be I get, less? I do. I think you would be less uh, ready to just move on. It's possible. And I'd appreciate more what's in the glass. It's possible that that label just destroyed it for me. Andy Hearthcock. Hey, Daniel. Andy with Gin Spirits Oh, here. yeah, yeah. We tried their stuff. Okay. I just got a kick out of your review of our whiskeys. Many thanks. See, they only thank us whenever we like it. Yeah. Yeah. There are other times they don't reach out. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, and when they do, it's like, hey, can we send you something else? One yeah. point on labeling. Only the ABV must be listed. Yeah. The proof is now optional. Yeah, that's right. Oh. He's accurate. You, oh. you only need ABV proof as option. So you were wrong. Yeah. But so you were wrong, though. Recognize that? The beat? That's what we tried. Well, wait, we're going to, but we're quick, though. No. But you were wrong? No. But. No. But. Yeah. But you were wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think for what they were aiming for, a smooth whiskey at a yeah. proof. I'm proof. I think they hit it. I like the flavors. A spicy ripe apple, a tart cherry leading into smokiness. Yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liver size. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.